think you've said all of what I was about to say, but um, I really am very delighted to be here. And I will be enjoying the next few days um, highlighting the research accomplishments in this field and also for establishing new directions for us. I still, while we've been thanking and thanking, I still need to thank once again the president and co-founder of the Temple Mandibular Joint Association, Terry Crowley, it's, you are our inspirational leader, and without you, this would not happen. So really much to you, and you were probably on my doorstep the first week, ready to go, and I was right there, I hope, with you on that. And to you, Alan, and your committee, I know it uh, takes hours and hours and days and days and complications to put this uh, meeting together, and when I look at the agenda, I know it's going to be a great and for me specifically, the John uh, Kuziak, who um, has been there every step of the way for me as I've been on a rapid learning curve in this area and is always there to explain things in detail um, and provide information for me. He's truly remarkable. And especially this last year, he, when he's taken on an additional, additional active responsibility. And of course, to my um, institute and center partners, this would not happen without this collaborative effort of all of us. And to the speakers today, the guests, and also the um, advocacy groups where I recognize this is so important. We need to hear from all of you if we're going to move forward. It was just about three years ago that I joined, stepped on the campus of the NIH as the director. And I can tell you that it's been a remarkable and very rewarding experience. And I'd say in the area of pain, this was one of the most significant and fortuitous experiences for me because if you recall the IOM pain uh, report and recommendations on alleviating pain had just paralleled my arrival. So it was an area of rapid learning related to the NIPCS and I see our substantial portfolio in this area, and as Alan already mentioned, our involvement in many of the other different organizations on the campus. And along these lines, one of the key areas that was the focus for us, and the focus of the symposium, is the uh, temporal mandibular joint disorders. And understanding the temporal mandibular joint and surrounding tissues, both for health, disease, and disorders, not surprisingly, in 2003, um, NIBCR supported about 80% of all the research in this area, of course with our great collaborations from the other institutes and centers. And this was about $15.1 million. So lastly, what I'd like to do is set a charge for the audience today and for all of the groups here. And this is in a line with our uh, strategic plan of admission, and also that was just launched. You could go on the website um, this past month and take a look at our strategic plan. I think it um, has a lot of new directions for us and a vision to be a catalyst of change in transforming how all healthcare is delivered. That is improving the uh, definition of risk assessment, prevention, diagnosis, and treatment so critical to the TMD field. So please, over the next few days, I'd like you to think about what are the best scientific approaches to address our understanding of the mechanisms underlying TMD and associated chronic pain conditions and to help identify effective treatments for these conditions. We're looking for, and I welcome very broad innovative, provocative questions. These are needed. I look forward to listening and learning from you over the next few days. Thank you very much.